This is Daily Gold. Let us begin. Okay, so when it comes towards today, I did Drac Theron Keep. Now, jumping in towards this one, this one actually came as a bit of a shock in some respects when it comes towards the literal run. Now, there are a few different types of bosses within this, and on the first run, I went and took out all of the bosses. However, I didn't realize that I could actually just skip past one of the bosses, which is the Lich. He basically starts an encounter where he just summons loads of swarms and that adds to your time and the what you actually gain from this is just a couple of soulbound items so after figuring it out on the second run that I could just beeline it past him I then just started doing that that means I was able to clear the dungeon faster and be able to clear the mobs even faster as well and that's just foregoing a couple of soulbound items so that just made sense with everything else I did notice that a lot of the items that you gain, you don't get an awful lot, however, their value is quite high, which is brilliant because that's what we're actually looking for when it comes towards transmog. In the grand scheme of things, it all adds up quite nicely, so let's just get into the results. Jumping in towards everything and going in towards worth it, we can see that I did one little amendment from yesterday, and that is Utgard Pinnacle brackets it's a girl keep i know you a load of you guys on the comments i was sat at work on my break and i was having a look at the comments and i was like oh oh okay i kind of messed up because i did Utgar keep not Utgar pinnacle so i renamed it i've updated the data sheet for that and then that is now fixed However, let's go into towards the results for our literal run from yesterday, and Drac Theron Keep is right here. I don't even have to search for it. It's up there with Gundrak, as we've already farmed that one, and the items of note vary quite a lot. We have three dark web bindings we got for which sell for around about 139 gold, or on the region market average of 1,689 gold. We have the Scythe Claw Boots, 77 gold. But uh, the region market average is 2,935, and the bright helm of the of guarding is 453 gold on my server, but on the region market average is 2,076 gold. We got an array of different types of items, and it comes to a healthy 185,497 gold in total, based on the region market average for everyone. Now, if you can see, it's not that many. So, that being said, let's jump in towards our, our literal auction house and we'll find Drac Theron Keep. Jumping in towards all of this, Drac Theron Keep came at a nice little total of 143,577 gold after the farm. And you can see that there is loads of items that are worth like 10,000 gold. The region market average for that one is 3,736, but my server is 10,000 gold, so okay. The Barb Star, uh, the Barb Star, okay, uh, 1,000 gold, but apparently it's going on a region market average of 37,000 gold. Um, and TSM for me on my string is posting at 4,791 gold on that front. We have the Ebony Dagger, we have that one that's going for 8,935 gold but the region market average is uh, 15,000 gold and it's just an array of different types of green items that are worth a great deal in just every respect we've got 39 items in total 143,000 in in gold value so overall was Drac Farron keep worth it yes it was I'm quite happy with it if we go in towards our mailbox we can see that it yeah, I'm going to need to do some reposting of all of that in that front 83 gold. I'm pretty certain there was a bit more. I think it was like a thousand gold on the auction house, but I'm going to have to do my relistings for everything. And with that being said, if we go in towards the gold makers data set, we can have a look at Wrath of the Lich King. So we've got an Azul Narub, Anka Het, uh, Halls of Lightning have been done halls of stone forge of souls i'm not looking forward to doing forge of souls because i know it's just going to be awful so i'm really trying to put that one off and we've got the nexus and guard pinnacle 
to actually do. So what are we going to be doing? Well, I'm going to select one at random and then we're going to go from there. I'm really looking forward to this one because yesterday kind of got me pumped with this gold farm for Drax Tower and Keep because nearly 200,000 gold for one transmog gold farm, not bad. So let's go try out some more. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. The gold farming is just doing quite well at the moment. At the moment, I've got to relist all my auctions before I do anything else. But aside from that, we've got it on alternating reposting days with 48 hour postings. So then I can just keep on top of it a little bit more. That being said, we shall see how things go. And all in all, if you want the data from this farm to test on your server to see the valuation, then the worth it import is on the discord under info and it's for anyone to actually have the worth it beta on the other hand is the beta and that is in the patreon that's on the basic patreon tier and everything so if you want to go over there you're more than welcome to do so other than that take it easy and i shall see you in the next video which will be soon